Hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome back to some more Library of Ruina. I forgot about Big Summer. <laughs> okay, in that case, I want to quickly go in here. How do I Librarian Info? I think Customize Librarian. I think I want Adam to be really small. Wait! Small really? Adam. Large Summer, Big Adam. Or... Small. Small Adam. We should change his name, though. Adam's name, Bong Bong. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Wait, you can have prefixes and suffixes? Yeah. Ironclad Micah. Okay. I mean, we could also cycle this. We could also, like, type in our own. What else do we have? Orga Joel. I don't know why I need to come up with a new name for this one. Ironclad Olive. It's interesting how acacia is a type of wood. Is Ooh. Where's acacia? Down there. Ironclad acacia. I'll have to mess with their appearance at a later date. I'll probably do that kind of thing off camera, but I just wanted to have a, the whole gamut of sizes here since summer is laughably large. All right, so what were we up to? Uh, so unlock all the middle floors. Whoops, that's not it. Uh, well, we had just... We didn't do the... Did we already complete the murder monster on the Netsack level? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I don't think any of them have a um, abnormality to tackle. Because I think there's usually like a exclamation mark. Oh, we haven't done a, a obtain the book of question mark. Yeah, so we haven't done the netzak abnormality yet. We're we have to do this before I think we make any of that. Because we got up to the rank of urban legend. Yeah, I think there's some generalized um, pages or invitations we should send out at some point to fight. But I also might do some of those off camera. Huh, interesting. Wait, so that's the same guy on the right, but are these other members Remember of that the, group? Remember, um, the flame bat girl and the guy have both been booked, Killed. but this guy yeah. this guy made it away in that first fight and then didn't follow Summer in the second time around. Mm -hmm. You can't kneel forever, you know. I beg you, my juniors, they're all dead. You've said that a million times by now. It's going to ring in my ears for days. Look, I know what happened. Your crew all died on a trip to a place called the library. I'd like to request the Zvi for support. I want to retrieve their books at least. And barging into Zvi HQ to beg is not like uh, is, is not the right way to do it. Come on, you know better than that. Isadora, please, let's help him out just once. Could we at least request our superiors for a review of this case? Julia, I know you're friends with this idiot, but even then, we should not act upon friendship or attachment. The whole system could collapse otherwise. The lobby will be filled with all kinds of miserable folks, begging and pleading for help. You may be a low-grade pipsqueak, but you're still Zvi's associate fixer nonetheless. You'd better remember what you learned today. But I'm responsible for this case and... And the association is responsible for it, too. Nowhere in our records does it say that Zvi is involved in this case, though. I have no idea what you're talking about, miss. So that's how it is. You use us as you please, and you turn your back on us so easily. Hello? You're putting the blame on the wrong people here. Even if such a deal did take place, like you said, you must have demanded or at least expected a corresponding reward. That's what a deal is, after all. Use the association as much as the association used you. You don't get to talk like it was one a one-sided extortion. Come on, let's not act like rookies now. You've been in this business for eight years. You should know how things work by now. Sidora, you don't have to be so harsh. We all started out as office mates. I'm just frustrated. I don't want to see him in such a wretched state either. Sorry, I understand what you're trying to say. You're right, that's how it's always been. I'll go look for another way now. Son, I'm so sorry. I never thought it would turn out this way. Was Julia the one that gave them the invitation in the first place? Possibly, yeah. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? Now this is the proper procedure I'm talking about. 
The Hana Association just elevated the library from urban myth to urban legend. That means our association can now officially act on this case, right? What? Well, yeah, but we still don't know Zwei's stance on it yet. So don't get your hopes up, all right? Thank you, Isadora. I, I really owe you one. Apologies for laying my burden on you. It it's nothing. All I did was compile information following procedure and send it up to the higher-ups. There certainly have been reports that several other syndicates and offices fell victim to the library, although they were mostly insignificant fledglings. But that's all thanks to the masterful data analysis by our lovely Isadora from Section 6 that could be handled so quickly, right? That's my girl. Fine. Believe whatever you want. Anyway... Do you still have the invitation with you? Looks like an association is about to make their move. Things will be different from now on. How much of a difference does it that make? The guests we've had so far all gave us gave us a visit out of casual interest or curiosity, but our future guests will have a clear goal in mind involving the library. How so? A case officially recognized by the associations is guaranteed to be rewarding, and money attracts an awful lot of attention. The scale of our affairs is only going to escalate from here, like it or not. Our threat level of Im or our threat level or importance is still probably on the lower end, but we'll nevertheless get all sorts of people trying to unravel the mysteries of this place as long as the associations have an eye on us. I like the sound of that. I can make more valuable books out of them. I still have a lot to see and learn. I've been wondering for a while, but what's stopping you from le leaving here? I am under a curse. A deep, ancient curse. One that's attached to me. No being that isn't human can walk out of this place. Besides, I don't want to leave this place until I've had my revenge, either. It's not too bad so far. Rather, I've been actually quite delighted lately. It has been full of brand new things, unlike the prison that was my past life. New faces, accumulating knowledge, intriguing events. I like this abundance of freshness. I want to know more. I will keep learning and learning, and as I learn, I might finally figure out why I had to be subject to such torment. Guess I gotta work harder then. I can't leave here as long as you can, you know? Hmm. Hey, if we get if we get to leave one day, why don't I take you to a place I frequent? You mean a restaurant? Yep, I make some sick meat stew there. One of the secrets to that stew is the giant tin pot they commissioned T-Corp to customize. Boil meat with some water for just 10 seconds in that thing. You'll get tenderized meat with a rich broth that you'd normally only get after three straight days of boiling. I like how the text just kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller to fit into the box. Oh. I think I'm just going to let it go in the future if it's going to start doing that. Mm -hmm. Creating a taste that's so rich in such a short period of time is what makes the restaurant so hot. The only issue is the prices are a bit high. I spent half of my last job's payout on a single meal one time, but it's totally worth it. Hmm. Oh, right. Are you incapable of eating? Sorry for bringing up useless words, ma'am. There are plenty of other places you'd love to visit, and I'll make sure to give you a tour, a tour through the city, ma'am. I can eat, but I cannot taste the food. I do wish to try dining like you people do if I get the chance, though. In any case, we need to finish the task at hand before anything. And the stew? I'll keep that in mind. Okay. So, what are we up against? A bunch of Zai fixers. Weak to slash, weak to pierce. Well, we're definitely not using Netzak for this. I might as well probably use these three. Uh oh. Oops. Do you need to redo them? <laughs> Summer doesn't have any cards equipped. Oh, good. I can actually just do that from right here. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So I did fix the infinite attribution that I had on earlier. Uh, there was a mod that I, I had uh, enabled, which was a uh, whoops, but it's fine. So why don't, we, why don't we go here, take a look at maybe some of the rarer pages. So we want Pearson Slash more than anything else. With a bat? Yeah. Look, you can pierce with a bat as long as you're trying hard enough. It's rather blunt at the end, though. And slashing? Eh. 
Uh, let's see. The other one. I mean, I could just do appetite. But I actually want to go back to him. Because... Mm -hmm. Because he has uh, the speed, speed dice slot plus one cannot overlap, it means he has two different dice he rolls. So the problem is uh, stuff like gut harvesting, oh. uh, which costs three, is actually too expensive for him. So we want to actually include a bunch of really, uh, really cheap moves if we can. Um, because that way he can fire off like multiple moves in the in one turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see, so keep it fresh is kind of okay. Probably cooking prep, appetite. What is gather intel? Kind of basic. I'll go for fleet footsteps. Maybe I'll get rid of one of the appetites for it. Maybe? I don't actually know if that's a good idea. Because that, since Appetite is free, it's effectively a free hit with his current die setup. Okay, I think that's about all I'm all I've got at the moment. Okay, begin stage play, keeping in stride, one HP upon winning a clash. I, unfortunately, because we're only recording this for like uh, two hours a week, mm -hmm. I have Here. to kind of remind myself of the mechanics of the sound effects. That somebody was complaining that they're too low. Okay, so I'll bump them up a bit. I don't want them to be too loud. Because sound effects tend to be kind of sharp for me. Okay. So, apparently I can do one, two, and three to see the... Oh, I see. I can see the different... Where they're targeting? Threat lines. So, for example, Roland currently isn't being targeted at all, so he needs no defenses. So, to some degree, I can just have him do whatever I want. I think he might be able to intercept is the one thing. Which might be useful because we've got two people currently focusing. They look so small. On Roland. Uh, I don't know if there's a way. Well, I mean, they can hide these. Well, you can zoom out. Yeah. It's just that what I was saying is that this because Summer is so small? large, everyone oh. else looks so tiny. What? You got something against Big Lady? No. Okay, two to four, and then on hit blind. Let's see. I don't know what blind does. Let's have I would her assume defend. it prevents them from being accurate, right? Okay, and then. So two to four, two blind on the next scene. On clash win, boost next die max value by three. Oof. Okay, let's have Roland do a thing then. I mean, otherwise, I could actually just focus fire one target. Maybe I'll do exactly that. Okay. Okay, messed her up. Out. Yeah, fortunately, did not have enough defensive die. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so one of them stunned in the... Those two are going for summer. I guess there's not much I can do about it, so let's just focus that one. Roland's in kind of a fine spot to be fighting. Unused protection to all allies next scene. Might as well. Okay. I'm still trying to work out how this society functions. Because uh, we're essentially facing a bunch of gangs that are also enforcers. Also I think it's kind of mercenary groups. This is what happens when you pri privatize your police forces, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, max HP by Urging. 15%. This damage from slash attacks. When hit, reduce the damage. Pale hands. Oh, let's go for urging. Who could use it? Probably them, considering they've gotten messed up a little bit. Okay. So they're aiming for Roland. Interesting that Roland's actually almost out of pages, which might be a worry. Pages? 
You mean you run out of cards? Uh, maybe? I didn't know you could. Which is maybe something to keep in mind. I don't know, I'm still learning the mechanics. Okay. You've definitely faced three opponents before. Yeah. Summer got, I mean, Summer go for the kill. I'm gonna go for that. We'll just see what happens. Oh, but two of them were near death. That one's tough. Okay. I think we're good. I, th I think I was trying to do... Uh, oh, I have quick mode on again. I gotta turn that back off. I wonder if that's actually it's something in the options that I... Nope. I have no idea. Okay, so he's gonna get messed up unless we do something about it. We should probably Unfortunately, get rid of that. Roland's out of pages. Uh... List of effects during apply during battle. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to get I, more of those. Uh, but I think I might want to give Roland some slightly more expensive abilities. What about that one character at the bottom? They're almost near death. Yeah. Uh, you mean this guy or No, them? that one. I'm having Roland target them first. Okay. In hopes of taking them out. Okay. Unfortunately, that's Roland's only page. There they go. And then Roland gets hit a couple of times, but it isn't that big of a deal. Miss. Ooh. Yeah. And then an equal roll. Strength. At the end of the scene, if any librarian didn't do any damage with offensive die, they lose HP. That might not be bad. Gonna put it on them. Ah, less I don't actually know slashing. who they're aiming for. Nope, they're going for Roland. Roland, who uh, still has a page. But at this point, I have a full group. Let's see. They're weak to piercing, so I should probably respect that. There we go. And I think now they're just done. Yep. Okay. Yep. Curtain falls. And that was it? Yeah, just the three of those. So we didn't have to worry about more. We so section six of the Zwei. Yeah. Yeah, I guess these, these cosmetic changes really aren't actually that impactful yet. Oh, and Netsex got his... Uh, his things. So Enter a fragment? Fragment of the universe. So first and foremost, let's um, burn all these books. And somebody else though is mad at me for using the anti-grind mod because it's somehow cheating the game. I guess the one thing is I don't learn the mechanics quite as deeply because I'm moving too fast. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that's just something I'm going to learn when I eventually hit a wall. But I'm very glad I don't have to just repeatedly fight these Well, the thing fights. about it is if you're repeatedly fighting the same opponents again and again and again, it what's the point at I, that in that respect? Mostly kind of sort of learning. Because once again, fighting them over and over and again. Well, maybe what it does is it challenges you to potentially change your deck setup or Maybe, but like once abilities. you've beaten them the first time, it becomes rote. But if you're, I don't know, I, I guess in my mind, it's... If I can't beat them, fighting them over and over and over again makes a lot of sense. If I can beat them, then it's probably not... I'm not going to learn as much from that, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see Netzak. What can we give you? What do you even have for a key page? You don't have one. So, one HP upon winning a clash. That's okay. The only problem is they're, they're weak to pierce. What would they look like? Eh, you know what? Let's go for it. And I don't think we can do attributions yet because apparently infinite attributions at broke that. Mm -hmm. it, so it wasn't supposed to give that to me. So what are our new unicorn pages? Under install allies next scene. Oh, it's bind. Bound, lower all speed values by X for the scene. So it wasn't blind, it was bind. Ah. 
Um, bind. Let's see, retaliate. On Clash win, boost the next die's max value by three, so that's actually kind of good. Uh, let's see, because what else do we have? He doesn't have the extra die. I like Fleet Footsteps. I think that one's actually kind of good. Let's see. No, actually, if I go back to Key Page, maybe I'll have Netzack also be a toasty boy. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, because we can do Fleet Footsteps, but Taste My Flaming Bats. See, Prepared Mind was okay. Set fire was good. Was there any others? Oh, it was just prepared mine. No, I think this is fine. A lot of defensive die, but then set them on fire a bunch. Mm -hmm. Which hopefully will work. I know. Time to find out. Now, what is the fragment of the universe? It's kind of like a weird child's drawing, if I remember oh, right. Oh, understand perfection. Moment, no knowledge, our meaning, deliver. I forget some of the lore. Okay, on hit, add enlightenment to target's mind. Do together chant song enlightenment. Impale you, my understand, well, cross boundary. Okay. So I can set it on fire at the very least. Hurt not knowledge are simple, give, relay. So max stagger resist decreased by 50% because of enlightenment in hand. Oh, wasn't it that aliens were contacting a child through visions and making them draw things? Yeah, maybe. It's been a while. It was, and it was, yeah, just, I, I don't know if it was a embodiment of the universe itself or if it was just disembodied alien entities that exist out in space. Oh, that's, this is the trade-off. Four to eight, two to four, two to four, two to four. Chaos from beyond. Whoa. Yeah. I understand how this fight works now. Except now you're almost dead. Yeah, I can't do anything about this. It's going to mess me up. Fragment of the universe is brutal. I think this is the first time you've lost. Uh, yeah, probably. So it's going to give me enlightenment again. Oh, I should have been checking what kind of uh, damage type it did. So what happens to Netzack? Oh, he's fine. Oh. Oh, well then. Okay. So I gotta check. What what damage type is it doing? Yeah, here's the... Uh, no, it's doing piercing. Okay. Not the best. It also rolls. Oh, it's burning. But it rolls high from what I've seen. Okay. Yeah, effectively what it's doing is it's, it's winning the initial clash to give me enlightenment, which sucks. Yeah, because enlightenment takes up cards in your hand, correct? Correct. And what did the enlightenment cards do? Um, So they lower my my max stagger resist. The main point is it's actually a trap. It's supposed to make it so Echoes of Beyond uh, doesn't Deals do damage. Da so, oh, if the target has enlightenment in their hand, so you need to get rid of the enlightenment No, no, somehow. if I have it, it means this guy does no damage. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. so I have to keep it in my hand. You have to keep them, but okay, so they're just taking up space then. Yeah, Right. which is not bad. The main problem is that this is this is gonna hurt. Every time I get oh, hit by it. Oh, add enlighten. Okay. Yeah, and so my entire goal to some degree is to... He's always rolling high. Yeah. Yeah, and he's going to be knocking me down. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. This is this is fine. Because... I can do this here and get some HP back. Anyway, because I have a couple of enlightenments, mm -hmm. I could actually block him here. 
because I can squander those. As long as I have one, we're good. Mm -hmm. And so whenever he's doing Echoes from Beyond, I can do whatever I want. Uh, be it healing or setting them on fire. Um, I'm probably just going to keep healing, seeing as I've taken some damage. I wonder if they have a theme for each creature. I think so. I think they're also, I mean, obviously, they're a little bit more puzzly, which is kind of fun. No, I'm okay. talking about the musical oh. theme. They might, yeah. All right, so we've staggered them. So now here's where I actually get to hit them. We'll just set them on fire twice. I'm curious if that damage... Okay, and he's doing the goofy thing. We can just do another fleet footsteps and wait. Because, yeah, they roll zero every time, which means I win every single one of these clashes so ah. I can get my HP back and some other oh, stuff. Oh, look, now it's just a bunch of incoherent letters. Yep. That's a fun fight, actually. I like that. Sir, you gotta wake up. You're gonna get sick if you sleep on the floor. Netzak once again casts a glimpse at Roland while lying on the floor before turning back again. The smell and this thing rolling around on the floor. Don't tell me. A beer can. Where the heck did you get this? This is a library, Roland. Con constructed from the light of possibilities. Anything's possible as long as you got the book. Uh, are you sure you're sorting the books well? You seemed okay at receiving guests, at least. He nods to the pile of books next to him. Really? You sorted them all, let me see. That's... These books are almost randomly scattered across the floor. I don't think that counts as sorting. Uh, here, have a drink. Hey, hey, you got manners, at least. Well, let me take a sip if you insist. God, never guessed I get a chance to drink beer in a place like this. Boy, how I miss the sparkling softness. Good stuff, eh? Sure is, brother. Bleh. So how's work been going? It's been going, somehow. Not that I'm satisfied with it, though. What's your biggest complaint at the moment, then? I have to take someone else's life with my hands. But it's either you or them, ain't it? Ain't it? That's why I have to fight. That's why I don't don't like about oh uh, that's what i don't like about it i'll probably have to kill even more people as time goes by doesn't matter if it's a saint or the scum of the earth everyone wants to live all the same i'm picking up what you're putting down but it's no different out there really people all all hurt and kill others because they don't want to be hurt themselves take others lives you can uh so you can keep yours bit too obvious maybe i guess that's how things were in the outside world where are you from by the way the nest the back streets Dunno, I'm feeling tipsy. All I remember for sure is that I worked at Lobotomy Corporation. Must have been in a pretty sweet spot working in a megacorp like that. You really think so? Duh, of course. People are bound to envy anyone who gets to join a wing. They give a lot of cash, welfare's nice, and you gain social status too. The wings. Yeah. Because what are the different... Because there's the fingers. So the fingers. wings are like the megacorps. Apparently the fingers might not actually be... Associated with the wings. I... I yeah, I'd have to actually look at the social... Because there's the head, the wings, the fingers, I... The hands, the... Yeah, I, I don't entirely know. The social socio-political background of the city is a little murky. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sure there's a wiki post that goes over all of these things. The main problem is, uh, I'm sure if I started looking that, I'd see all sorts of spoilers, so I'd try mm -hmm. to avoid those. Yep. Yeah, that's what they always say. Well, let's just forget about all that for now and drink some more. All right, got to drink while I can. You've got to be kidding. Wait, were they both on the ground or something? I didn't see anything. I didn't see them either, but yeah, they might have been. Okay, so actually this is a uh, pretty good. Tentacles. Yeah. Incomprehensible. Wait, so you see a song in in front of you, it's approaching, becoming more colorful by the second. The moment its tentacle penetrates you, it will drain all interest for the life you're currently living out of you. Eventually, emerging the domain of the fragment of the universe, however, it was obvious that his small brain couldn't withstand it. Huh. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to look these up on the wiki since I played Lob Lobcorp and don't need to worry about spoilers. Mm -hmm. Fragment of the universe seems to be a member of an in alien race that arrived on Earth from outer space. It had no stable form when it first arrived. It was found by the company and brought to the facility. The workers started experimenting on it, focusing on its reactions. After the experiments, the abnormalities form would change depending on what it saw that made it happy. 
like a child's smile or a shape of a heart. Mm. It also tried to mimic sound, such as the sound of laughter. The current form of the fragment of the universe is a black ball covered by hearts of different colors, probably caused by the experiments. It's able to produce unknown sounds implied to be a song, named Echoes from Beyond, by the employees. In some cases, when employees attempted to interact further with the abnormality, they received severe mental damage and underwent psychosis, eventually leading to their placement in psychiatric facilities. Ugh. So I was right, it was an alien. Yep. Yeah, so I'll just pull these up whenever we have a new abnormality to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Okay, so we don't have any new books to burn. I forget how to do the general invitations again. Oh, well. well I was kind of hoping there would just be a list. Uh, it's fine. So if we go here, I'm just going to keep pushing, um, pushing plot for the time being. Oh, it's this group again. Yep. We have a lineup of the search team, and you two are in. San, Julia. I'm finally heading back to the library. Yeah, let's go retrieve the books of Mars and Lulu and come back safely. Wait, they think they can just retrieve the books of them? They're, they... That's what they're hoping. But are they going to find a way to return them to their human form, or is it just that they're stolen property? I don't know. Don't forget. While our main objective has been decided as retrieving the books of Mars and Lulu thanks to the coincidence of interest between San and the Association, we should still try to secure as much information as possible, meaning we should collect as many books as we can. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I know it's a silly question to ask, but why is Vi, an association specializing in peacekeeping and security, deciding to set up a search team of all things to enter the library? Why did you come begging to us in the first place if you knew all that? Got schmutz on my glasses. That's that's because this is the only place I could count on. What about your younger brother? My brother is... Uh, never mind. Once again, I'm sorry for the trouble and thanks again for the help. Son. Mm-hmm. Anyway, since you're running an affiliate office, I suppose it's okay to tell you this. Ooh, look at this. They have a little scene. Yeah. The distortion phenomenon, classified as an urban nightmare. I'm sure you've at least heard of it, even if you haven't seen it yourself, right? It's an anomaly that has been happening throughout the city, ever since the White Nights and Dark Days. What are, what are the White Nights and so Dark Days? So White Nights and Dark Days is when Lobotomy Corporation flipped upside down and became a giant pillar of light. Oh. It was like... Yeah, you told you told. It me was supposed this. to be, I think, seven white nights or something, but it only ended up being four. And then afterwards, it was the dark days. I think that's what it was mm -hmm. exactly. But effect it released uh, powers. Like I think people gained powers, but then also it released a lot of abnormalities into the world. Mm. Yeah, I would have expected these groups to be hunting down the rogue anomalies that had escaped Lobotomy Corporation, as opposed to just well. Sort of. Harvesting organs and... Here, here's the lore right here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the frequency may be low, but people are turning into monsters at random, and each individual occurrence is a huge pain to deal with. Yeah, I know. The pianist. The first reported case of this phenomenon. It ended up killing 80% of District 9's population. Oh, that was the guy in the intro, right? Yeah. Playing the pipe organ? Oh, and so what, the music just decimated the city? Yep, looks like it. I heard that it was so sudden. The Han Association had to dispatch one of the colors immediately after realizing the severity of the situation. Colors? What are the colors? No idea. That's right. Yet we still don't have any clues to track down the cause of this phenomenon. The most we have is the sudden disappearance of L Corp, so Lobotomy Corporation. Yep. And the White Nights and Dark Days, whose starting point was the corporation's nest. Zvi suspects that the library may be one of the keys to understanding the distortion phenomenon. A coworker told me a similar story. Said a resident in the area said that they were pe that they were peacekeeping was suddenly distorted and transformed into a four-legged beast even though there weren't any signs of danger or an anomaly nearby. Thankfully, they managed to take care of that creature before the death toll could hit two digits. Uh, so in other words, it still killed 
at least nine people. Well, yep. before, uh, not at least, but at most. at most nine people. And I also heard that a restaurant clerk turned into a man eating sandwich monster? Uh, something like that one time. I think I understand now. So the distortion phenomenon is uh, is a clear and apparent threat to Zvi's peacekeeping activities, and they expect the library to hold a clue to fur resolving it. You got that right. Fortunately, there haven't been any cases of the phenomenon that's nearly as devastating as the piano so far. It looks like Zvi is going to keep an eye out for the library for a while, though there are several other suspects that they need to investigate as well, so we won't be getting any high-grade fixers. It's more than enough help. Thanks, Isadora. I... I said I'm just doing my job. It's not like I'm doing you a favor or anything. You sure are. You have my thanks as well, Isadora. Let's get to it. You're Ooh, yawning already? Yawny. Yeah, I know. I think it's just, once again, voice acting mm -hmm. messes with me. Is that really true? What is? The things they said about the library. Is this place really all connected to the stuff like White Nights and Dark Days, Elcorp, and the distortion phenomenon? I'm frankly not even sure where we are in the city, though. What if I said it what is? If you said it is, I'm not sure if I get what you mean. It's extremely rare for an incident to encompass the city like the White Nights and Dark Days did. There have been some cases of wings falling apart on their own, but those only affected their own nests at most. Elcorp was something else entirely. It's like the whole city fell asleep for a week. Let's say that the library really is related to the White Nights and Dark Days. What does that change? Nothing, I guess. My work's still going to be the same. Hmm. So, this is the library. The transportation method is almost like a singularity. Yeah, the director of the library will soon, soon come and greet us. Angela, was it? Greetings, dear guests. I'm Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Though it appears that you already know who I am. We're here to take back the books of Mars and Lulu. They are here indeed. We can get the books we want, or die and turn into books ourselves, right? That is correct, as it is written on the invitation. It's like I'm talking to a wall, she's so robotic. May you find the book, your book in this place. And she does not look happy with that. She is not happy with that in the slightest. Well, being told that it's like talking to a robot. Okay. Yep. Well, let's go back for a second. Week to piercing, week to piercing, week to piercing. Okay, so I should probably swap some things out to account for that. So appetite's good on piercing. Can't you search? Uh, ah, Pierce. There you go. Check marks for going in the opposite direction. Hmm. That one's nice for a big piercing. Let's see. Overpower doesn't have much for defense, unfortunately. Clash win, restore one light, but it's really low value. Clash win, lower max value of opponent's next die by three. That might be a good option. I don't know. I, uh... Shouldn't you try to use as many cards as possible? Yeah. That was the one that I was using a little bit ago. It wasn't deflect. Prepared mine. Ah, Fleet Footsteps. Eh, that one's not that good. We want something that is one cost. I guess I could just do cooking prep. Oh, we already had a couple of You already of them. have a number of them. Yeah. Let's see. I guess I'll just do a flaming bat. Uh, let's see. Get rid of endure. And maybe struggle. Uh, 
Let's see. Unused two strength next turn. So I guess that's kind of good. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Dried up. But the one thing I can take a look at also is just like the higher tier ones. Because I could do a pair of retaliates, though. We are starting to have maybe too many um, three costs. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. is maybe a bit of an issue. Just do a couple of fleet footsteps. And then summer. Let's get rid of appetite. Keep cooking prep. Probably keep cooking everything. I like fleet footsteps just because that little bit of healing is good and it's a decent defensive move, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Interesting how... I don't want to say monotonous your decks are, but... We don't have enough cards yet, but yeah, they don't... They haven't started doing the really interesting effects, which is kind of limiting what I can do. Uh, I'm sure it gets way more exciting as we go along. Okay, so 1 to 8, 2 to 3, 1 to 4. Yeah, what do we got? Yeah, it's been interesting for us because we've gone back a little bit into trading card games. The problem with trading card games is the games that we started off with, you know, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! and the like, they've had so many expansions or well, sets over the years that to understand all the cards that are available, you'd have to know thousands yeah. of them. And so, yeah. We started playing Lurkana in the last year because it's a new card game by Disney. And it's nice to have the sets, but you look at the cards and you realize just how many of them aren't really efficient when it comes to cost versus reward. And then also you're trying to find cards with synergies, if there are any. I remember back when I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! That it became quickly apparent that, yeah, you know, there's normal monsters and then there's effect monsters, but clearly the effect monsters have more that they can do. It came to the point where unless the card worked with your set, whether it was a creature type or something that uh, synergized with your other cards, there was really no point in having a normal card without an effect. Yeah. Or if it had like um, a good cost to bring out, because sometimes that can be useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see. She's going four. One to six, so I think I'll do that. What's she doing? One of it. Oh. It's not much of anything. It's got a pair of overpowers. There we go. And because he has two dice, he can just go ham on a person as long as he's got enough. Keep it going. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah, we uh we did some good damage there. I don't think any of these. And you're matter. still using this creature above all others. Or is I it just the floor? I think it's the floor. Ah, uh, okay. That's why. Yeah, so for the subsequent fight on this one. That'll change. Wait, people are actually able to ascend the library a floor or two before yeah, getting dispatched? Sort of. Uh, so. There we go. So, this was the first wave, but they were just a bunch of Zvi crew. Or Zvi crew? Zvi. Mm -hmm. And now here's the second one. So, I guess mm. it's Axe more than anything else. Uh, but so now it's San, Julia, and Zvikru. So we're not we're actually not fighting Isadora yet. No, she might be the last. Okay. She just has plus one slash damage. Uh, mm. let's see. Okay, so what are they weak to? Slash piercing, so kind of all rounder group. Mm-hmm. Mm 
Yeah, the one problem is I don't do a whole lot of... Smash. I do it on mounts. Oh, and we can't change our pages now. Ah. Oh. Good to know. Oh, well. Because you started the, the fights. Yep. I'll probably make it work. Okay, so what do we do? So he's leading with two to six. Oof. Three to four. Guess I'll just go go for that. I don't want them boosting their die if I can manage it. Okay. Go for a bunt. Okay. One to ten. So we might want to just do a common deering. We we could both retaliate on each other and just <laughs> truly roll the dice and see what happens. Um how can you retaliate if someone doesn't do the first move, though? Because if, if you imagine two characters... I think the point is you're prepping to retaliate. You're prepping to retaliate. I see. Okay, there we go. Ah. Not perfect, but I think we came out of that one slightly better. Uh, only marginally. Eh. Okay. Fleet Footsteps is not much of a defensive measure, unfortunately for me. Let's see. What, what are they swinging? Retaliate again. Well. Okay, and Roland's got a whole bunch. Oh, so his rolls are just five and five? Yeah, so he goes really, uh, he goes first, and he mm -hmm. gets two moves. So I'm actually gonna switch her target to him, and I'm just gonna hope Roland can just, um... Tank a little bit of it. Smack him down. Yeah. Oh. Because we straight up just, like, got a free action in. Oh, wow. Before they even could do anything about it. That, yeah, that was a big hit. Wow, they tied every roll, kind of, sort <laughs> of. I heard those parries. Okay, so they're very focused on her, so... Nothing major. I think I'll just do a Fleet Footsteps. Uh, let's see. He's got two, so why don't we go first? Are you going to have someone finish Cooking the Julia prep. character off? Actually, yeah. Maybe I'll do exactly that. Because it looks like she's broken, too. Or staggered, whichever yeah. one it is. She's also bleeding, so that's part of it. Mm hmm. Uh, you know what? Oh, he doesn't have enough. Just aim for that. I don't know what happens if you kill a target. Well, staggered them. But not a big deal. And now she's gone. I still feel kind of bad. Uh-oh. Defensive Ooh. die gain power, receive extra stagger damage when hit, or selected librarian dies at the end of the third scene, after which this page is chosen, however, becomes strong. I Whee! don't... What? Okay, who's got the big damage right now? Not Roland. Good luck, big summer. <laughs> Time for you to win or something. Okay, so because of this, she's got hella stats. Feel the rapid beating of your heart. Oh, no. Okay. What's he swinging with? A retaliate. Oh, I still don't have enough. Alternatively, do you have anything better? Four, four to five. Nope. Okay, so he goes first, does a little bit of damage to her. However... Yeah, so he gets messed up a little bit. But Big Summer, because she's got the big stat bonus, mm -hmm. adds all of her... Uh, adds those bonuses to specifically her rolls. 
So even if it's like one to six and a four to four, mm -hmm. it's going to be way higher than that. Well, unfortunately, she only gets one die. Oh, he's out of juice. Ah, he rolled two sixes. Yep. Okay, who goes first? She goes first and just completely wallops the man. You thought you were getting a turn? No, you get violence. Well, now we have both their books. Book of Distortion. Hmm. Okay, so what else we got? Ooh! Summer's got a big hat. There's also Twinkling Analyst? Heck yeah, I think... Ooh, actually that stagger resist is kind of nice. The library is located in the source of... The Wait, in the source of yep. the White Nights and Dark Days. I touched up the headquarters of Elcorp, the center of it, for my own use. I have no comment to make on the distortion phenomenon that apparently started occurring afterwards. I have little to no information about that phenomenon either. Though, I do have a guess. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. You were curious about it earlier, weren't you? I was created as a mechanical secretary to assist the manager of Lobotomy Corporation. I was designed to look like a human, feel emotions, and make evaluations and judgments based on those emotions. It's as you suspected. I was born in secret, violating the AI Ethics Amendment. I never got to make my own judgment, funnily enough. I had to read the same script over and over for one million years all for the success of a single project. The play that never seemed to end finally concluded one day, and, and... And the white nights and dark days happened as a result. Thanks for letting me know. I don't know who came up with that insane plan, but thanks to them, the distortion phenomenon started wrecking havoc in the city at random intervals. Ordinary people would turn into monsters all of a sudden, and they kill everything in sight. And the first ever case of the distortion, boy, was that a hellscape. It happened without any inc oncoming sign in a district that everyone believed to be relatively safe. The massacre was a work of art, too. It was named The Pianist for a reason. What more could I say? Hmm. Anyway, thanks for telling me all that. Must have been a sensitive topic for you. You aren't as shocked as I expected. The monsters created from the distortion did give off a suspiciously similar vibe to this library and its caretakers. You must have gone through a whole lot of distress in your life. Anyway, what comes next is the problem. What can we do to lure Zvi here? You can use this book. I tried writing down the relationship between Elcorp and the distortion phenomenon. It should be quite viable to them under these circumstances. That's some hella bait. Right. Uh, let's see. Okay, burn books. Book of Julia. Oh, but not San? No, San is over there on the right. Oh, oh. you're right. Well, burning these first. Okay, so retaliate, avert, fence. Protection to allies. Next scene. Hmm. We've pretty much seen most of these. What's her page? Right, she has the... Normal, oh. normal, weak and door. Actually, her resistances are good. Weak means, I think, only like a 50% damage boost as opposed to a double. Mm. And endured means she just resists impacts. Oh, okay. And then we want to do Book of Sawn. Which I might actually only have to burn one of these. I should probably do a test with that. Just for all of them? Yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't see. know how much the anti-grind mod changes things. Let's just burn one and see what happens. If it only gives a handful, we know. But if it gives... Yeah, eh, eh, no. Oh, well. Okay, so we have... We got a couple of things, actually. Well, there was Malkuth, Malkuth. had something. Where is she? This one. Let's tweak Joshua. Well, so what's occurring on this floor? An another abnormality. Ooh. Is this the first time we've ever had a second on a floor? No. no. Um, They've had one. Yeah, so this is the second time because they fought two. Mm -hmm. It's the bathtub and then the hearts oh. and lungs thing. Is everything on this floor going to be bloody and uh, gory? I don't know, actually. 
I'm just curious if they're thematic or not. I don't think they are. They could be. Well, because the one that was on the art floor was the alien that had all of the little heart drawings. I don't know. And it also had music affiliated with it as well. So I'm just curious if there is, if Malkuth's level is just body horror. Okay. So I'm gonna tweak some things real quick. So we want slash damage on Joshua. Well, your shield is nice and easy. Grab both of those, in fact. Uh, let's see. Protection to all allies. Endurance to all allies. Gain endurance next scene. Defensive die, gain extra power. What's protection? Take less damage from attacks for this scene. And then bind slows them down. Let's see, we've got a lot of twos. Don't have much for threes. What about threes down here? Because we have bounce up assault, but that's kind of boring. Fleet footsteps is kind of good. I like that extra HP, but I don't I don't actually know how good it is in retrospect. I do like commandeering. Oh, but it's not it doesn't do any slash damage. I don't know. Let's just do... Two Endurance the next scene. Why don't we do Silent Night then? Okay, and then she is on Clash Wind, boost the max value of the next die. So we want to give her this. Anything that gives like big Clash bonuses. But I probably should give her something cheap. There are those defensive Here, let moves, me see. yeah. Clash. Ah. Yeah, on Clash win, boost next die by a little bit. Clash win, gain endurance next scene. Let's just do Flaming Bat. Call that good enough. Okay, now let's fight Happy Teddy Bear. The Happy Teddy Bear? Happy Teddy Bear. Not so gory then. Okay. Would you like to play with me? I was too lonely. It's okay. Don't be afraid. So, what we want to do is. You don't want to feel this. I don't know what the rest of it is because it's behind the the cards. Probably go with the bat. Discarded and destroyed toys always sadden me. Yeah. Okay, Clash win. Time and smacks me. Got it. Don't hit me, please. What, what were the other things I was saying? I'm so happy you're playing with me. Okay. Reduce the cost of Nostalgica Brace by the old days by one after engaging in a clash. You're a kind one, aren't you? Oh, boy. You were so eager to play with me. Just so weird. Yep. How the battle is considered play. I almost displays feel like, of affection, ow. just claws. I almost feel like I should give you. What? Uh, when you hit, inflict burn to the attacker. Gain buff, forty percent XP. Ooh. What were you saying though? Give me uh, what? Give you my phone so that you can specifically. Oh, read the histories of these things? Yeah. Wait, the charred body represents a child's crumpled hopes? Beans. Okay, if I do that, does it take... No, it does not. Oh, because it's faster than me, no matter what I do. Two to six. 
The hole in its head doesn't really make sense, though, because that would be... Just fluff would be pouring out of it, like the other parts of its body. Yeah. Unless it's truly hollow in that head. I I do not know. I was going to say, maybe I should give you my phone so you can read lore. Oh, I'm we'll already work. so worn out and my stuffing is sticking out everywhere. Well, we are fighting this thing. It is, okay, it is weak to slashing damage, which I, I might have to do this a second time around. Uh-oh. Though that messes it up. Okay, so it's going for ha 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 ha. Oh no, a hug, a bear hug. Lower cost by one after each clash using other pages. Ouch. Ow. Staggered and almost dead. Bear's oh, almost but dead the too. Bear's though. almost dead though. Okay. Oh, it's the Jack in the Box song. Well, not much I can do about it. So it hugs her to death. However, get her for, uh, get it from behind with stabbing. That was messy. Yep. <laughs> Whew. Got a ton of books for you, Malkuth. By the way, I told you before that this is my third life, right? Oh, yeah. You've been thinking about your previous lives. By the way, I heard from Angela that this place is related to Lobotomy Corporation somehow. Is that really true? It's not just related somehow. I was an AI in charge of the control team in Lobotomy Corporation. AI? As in artificial intelligence? Hold on a sec. You're an AI? Just like Angela? Sorry, my wording was a little off. I wasn't a real AI. I was a human whose brain was restored for a second chance, if anything. Sheesh, I was worried for a second this whole place violated the AI ethics amendment even more than just one time. The head could come burn burn this place to the ground at any moment if that were the case. You mean the institution that manages the city? Yepper, that's the head. They usually like to stay awfully quiet, but when they do have work, they're scarily thorough and quick about it. Or so I've heard, you know. You're so casual, aren't you? I thought we were having a serious conversation here. Oh, whoops, sorry. I've gone through all sorts of all all kinds of stuff, so my priorities tend to be a bit unusual. It's not like I was trying to ignore what you were saying or anything, Malkuth. Sorry if it made you feel bad. You have to be you have a rather unique personality, Roland. <laughs> it was all part of my survival strategy. Anyway, back to your past. You said you used to be the boss of the control team back in Lobotomy Corp, right? That's right. And now I'm in charge of history here, as you can see. So, I started off by tracing back my own history, very, very slowly. Would you like to have a listen? Eh, not a fan of long and convoluted stories. Hey! Don't be such a mood killer. You're supposed to agree here. Well, why bother asking if you're going to tell me the story anyway? <laughs> you know what? You got me there. Anyway, I was ordered to work in Lobotomy Corp as the head of the control team bearing all my flaws. I was given a role to play as soon as I woke up, not realizing who I truly was. But with my heart still aching from the unresolved pain and regret from my past, almost about to burst. Just like that, I kept doing inhumane acts for Lobotomy Corp. I didn't even question what I was doing since it was all just work to me. It felt like a calling even. The only thing guiding me was a vague feeling that something went wrong because I didn't try hard enough. My twisted sense of effort pushed many into peril. I forced others into following my selfish standards like a fretful child. It must have been rough for you, being told to work, in, work like that without knowing what you were getting into. Did your memories naturally come back after working in Lobotomy Corporation for a while, or...? It's more like it'd be more correct to say that I was reminded of them. My life at Lobotomy Corporation was actually my second. And when my emotions finally erupted while working there, I could remember my first life. All the mistakes and faults I had made. And regret. I could understand why I had been so obsessed with trying hard. Turns out, what I really wanted was recognition. Look, I'm trying so hard. I'm a useful person. 
I never knew how to stand up without leaning on someone else. And after I vented all out all of my emotions, the inner struggle that had been haunting me for so long finally dissolved. I found redemption for my the first time in my during my second life. Wait, in my first life by in your second life? Is that what she was saying? Yeah. Interesting. We can go back. Uh yeah, yeah. I found redemption for my first life during my second life. That's how it works. All right, so let me get this straight. You did something wrong, which you regretted so much, and died. Somehow came back to life, got another job, and the big lump of regret in your heart eventually got resolved in a turn of events? I guess that's one way to put it. Hold on for a moment. Let's say that everything else makes sense since it's the city we're talking about. But who revived you, and for what reason? Just to give you that enlightenment? Maybe. So that I can let out all my resentment and sorrow. That I can find redemption. Don't delude yourself, Malkuth. Whoa, jeez, you scared me for a sec. Are you listening to all of this? Your salvation was never in his interests. He only did it as a means to find his own redemption. I wasn't the one using you. It was him. He used all of you to satisfy himself. Ah... <sighs> I can't bear to hear any more of this nonsense. Angela. So, I need you to fall asleep. What's with those faces? So this is what they looked like in their kind of like AI people forms. Wait, uh, what? Yeah. They they had legs? Yeah, and they, they were had boxes? Like, yeah, they, they were they were kind of box robots with little legs and arms. Okay, so we haven't met Gabura yet. Correct. Gabura's the redhead with the sword. We, uh, we've seen Yasod. I haven't seen Hokma. Yeah, so... Um, and we've seen Hode. Hest, Hest and Gabura are on the second to last level. Hakma and... Oh, I forget the other lady's name are on the very bottom. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's Tifereth. Tifereth's on the same floor as Gabura and Hest. That's what they look like? Yes. Wait, so then what are what are the human bodies? Are they I projections? Think they, I think it was either projections. I, okay, so I think it was actually their perception of themselves that were flavoring their appearance. Because uh, they, they hadn't quite come to grips with the fact that they were people in robot bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you kind of solved that over the course of Lobotomy Corporation. What's going on with that? Is it a sword, like you said? Yeah. There's eyes on it. Yeah, so she specifically was a... Um, she was she was like Roland out in the city. She was actually a, a fixer. Oh. Um, but she was one of the, like, absolute best. And had gotten that sword. I, I don't actually know how she got that sword because the the S-rank abnormality that you get it from... Is, is it S-rank? I forget the, the ranking systems. But um, it's, like, one of the really hard ones. But that plus the suit makes you virtually Im immune to all physical damage. And she was known as this, like, really good fighter. But they... I forget how they recruited her, actually. But, so after the events of Lobotomy Corporation... I guess I'm mostly, mostly only finding this out now, but they all turned against Angela, who had kind of um, mm -hmm. broken Lobotomy Corporation at the last second during the White Knights. Mm. It's the rest you all longed for. We can't let you do that. We worked so hard to make this happen. Worked hard. How funny. Would you really call what you've done hard work? What does Gaburo look like? Uh. Just so I can get a, an idea. Tough lady. Oh, okay. Covered in scars. I think we get a better illustration of her in uh probably Rumina. later in this game, right? Yeah. So this is what she looks like. So kind of probably detached but tough girl. Okay. We're not going to sit still and let you take away our light. Our light? You're not the boss, and I'd never listen to you even if you were. Of course you won't. You're still loyal to that man. Tiffereth. The remember they're the twins, the two, the little girl and the little boy. Oh, okay. Then do they speak 
together or do they speak separately? Uh, so I think the boy is gone. Oh, the boy is by gone. By this point, yeah. Oh, okay. I won't let you rob me of the meaning I finally found. No one is by my side as I expected. Bina? Um, so she's not, she's the one that you can't see. She's, uh, here, I'll bring her up. She's detached. She's also kind of from outside of the, um, uh, well, she actually was working for the head, uh, specifically as one of his hands. Oh. Uh, I think it was one of the hands. I forget exactly, but so kind of detached, very creepy. Do not feel so lonesome now. I shall stand by your side if no one else wills to. Damn it, Benar. Even in the end, you're... This must be yet another consequence of his actions. I simply acknowledge all events as valid. I would have shed a tear of gratitude for you if I could. Feel free to act upon your wishes. Oh, Angela, a machine consumed by desires. You cannot take this path. I decide what I can or can't do now. You can't cling to Lobotomy Corporation forever. Aren't you interested in learning more about yourself or living your own life? My life? It was to save humanity. That's why I would willingly sacrifice my life. It was for a greater cause. What a bunch of idiots. Seems another storm swept by. I gave away my two previous lives trying to save people. And I'm willing to do it again for a third time. We withstood all those hardships and trials for the sake of humanity. Do we look like idiots to you too, Roland? Huh. Well, it's not like I know enough of, enough of the details. Don't get this whole saving humanity thing either. But if that's what you sincerely hope for, who am I to judge? Of course I'm sincere. I... Please, leave me for a bit. I need some time to think. Alright, you do look like you need some rest. Remember, deep breaths, okay? Oh, you don't have to be too courteous with me when we talk. I just thought I'd let you know. Yeah. Alright. So she's got Happy Teddy Bear. Upon winning a clash, deal bonus stagger damage. Clashing against the same target multiple times will increase, the li will increase this likelihood. Let's see. Single, uh, single ally combat page with the highest cost in the hand is chosen. Using pages with the same name will decrease the cost of every copy that page on the character currently owns by one. Interesting. All right. Well, I think that's a good stopping point for now. We've got some background details mm -hmm. uh, for Shell to chew on. Maybe. And how many more? Oh, we can't even. Oh, I see. So there's five different abnormality pages per floor. Well, so my thing is, where is the protagonist of Lobotomy Corporation now? Is he with the I'm head? pretty sure they kind of uh, disintegrated themselves into the light. Are they a epic class anomaly monster now? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, they don't really establish what happens to the main character because uh, effectively the lo end of lobotomy corporation you flip the tower everything turns to light and then angela more or less shuts it off early but your character is gone by that point and there's no like full i don't remember if there's a full explanation or not uh Cutscene's still there on, on... But it was like a million year time loop simulation to do Correct. what? Correct. So it was 10 years on loop for 100,000 loops, give or take. But to acquire enough energy for what? I think it was to kind of give people soul their souls back and hope and like the spark of curiosity. Notice how, like, um, Roland is kind of just dead to the world and going along with the flow. I mean, given the society that's been built. Yeah. I. And so I think the point of Lobotomy Corporation was to somewhat break people out of this, this like, dystopic funk. How can you be broken out of a dystopic funk when 
people are dying in the streets can't the afford to keep their by own giving organs. Them superpowers. Huh? I think the implication was by giving them superpowers. But if everyone's given superpowers, then wouldn't it it's, fall into anarchy? I think it was kind of a stupid plan. So now, instead, people get superpowers, turn into monsters, and then kill a bunch of people. Yes. Oops. So, by acquiring all these books and knowledge, what does Angela hope to achieve in remedying this? And also, I don't think she plans this, on remedying it. Won't this bring it. the head down upon them at so some point? I, I think Angela has no interest in what happens to humanity as part of her mission. All she cares about is effectively Pinocchioing herself. Mm -hmm. But rather than finding out like what it means to be a, a real girl, she's just going to uh, find the you know Omega book and read it and understand everything forever? Question mark. I don't know. I, I'm sure we'll find out as we uh, over the course of this. But I, I think very much nobody has a good plan here, and everybody everybody that could do something good instead chooses to either do nothing or do evil. So everything just kind of gravitates towards shit sucks. Kinda. Yeah, I... Unfortunately, like, with the reputation that they're building for themselves, you're not just going to have these small associations come after them. You're gonna have, eventually, yeah. the head is gonna come on them. Uh, and other things? I don't know. I... I vaguely know some details about the story well, that you, I tried to shouldn't. skip through. You well, shouldn't. I I played a Slay the Spire Library of Ruina mod oh. that straight up goes through a significant portion of the plot. Of Library of Ruina? Okay. Once I realized this was happening, I started skipping all the cutscenes. So you wouldn't, yeah. So I wouldn't spoil it for spoil myself, it. but I know there's like a whole organization somewhat dedicated to taking you down, question mark? Of course there would be at this point. I don't At this know. point, you've murdered how many people? Uh, a lot. So. I guess we could check. Like, turn the wrong person into a book, One, and you're two, not just going to get four, five, six, association seven, folks nine, coming ten, after you. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. At least 22 people, which actually seems kind of small, but a number of these came with, like, random mooks, too. Right. So it's probably somewhere around, like, 90, 100 people. Which actually is probably kind of small, but the thing is we keep wiping out, like, progressively tougher people. Right. It, you're going up the chain. Eventually yeah. there's going to be some bigwigs getting involved, or you're going to... Yeah, and people are starting to notice, probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm i looking forward to where this goes, dark as it is, mainly just because it's interesting. Well, I'm also just curious at the interpersonal connections between the characters I, on the different floors, too. They seem to really dislike Angela. Yeah. Well, she did kind of screw them over in a really bad way. So it kind of makes sense, but maybe it's for the bad. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I, I'm loving it, too, because they barely interacted with each other in the previous game. And mm -hmm. so this one gets... Uh, there's a lot more character interaction. Also, having Roland actually be a character matters a lot because... Well, Roland is the... I don't want to say that he's the every man protagonist well, he is that a gets burnt out isekai into the situation. He's a burnt out but exceptional every man that has been in interjected into this fairly messy situation. And I don't know. So he ends up being a go between and befriends everyone. Yeah. It works. But for now, at least, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.